Good evening. This is Dr. Norman Marvin, and I want to present to you a webinar entitled Tuning Your Genome. The question is, have you had your tune-up recently? We all need a tune-up, and that's what is the essence of my presentation this evening. Here's my picture on this second slide, and I won't dwell on that long. My biography or my CV, I graduated from the University of Kansas with a BS in Pharmacy. Four years after that I graduated from the University of Kansas with a Doctor of Medicine. And I practiced as a family physician for over 55 years. I returned to the University as Assistant Professor in Department of Family Practice at the University. And following my tenure at that occupation, which ran for a few years, I was hired as Chairman of Family, Community, and Geriatric Medicine at Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm a member of the American Academy of Family Physicians and American Medical Association. I also had a radio program in Kansas City entitled What's Up Doc? It covered all the new advances each year in medicine. What I want to talk to you about tonight is about a company and its product. The company is LifeVantage. It's nine years old, publicly traded, identified as LFVN on the stock market. The CEO is David Brown. They've transitioned from retail sales to direct sales in the last two years. It has a record-setting corporate team of experienced officials in this level of business. They secured adequate capital to launch this new company and its marketing platform. This product that I want to talk to you about from LifeVantage is called ProTandem. ProTandem means to synergize. First, I want to do a disclaimer. This is required by the FTC when you talk about supplements. ProTandem is not intended to treat, cure, or prevent, mitigate, or diagnose any disease. And, as you will see, we will be discussing different things that ProTandem can do. I became interested in a field called epigenetics from a magazine article in January the 18th, 2010. And this article was written by a person experienced in genetics. And it revealed the helix, as you see on the cover of Time magazine, with a zipper. Meaning we can unravel and change and modify our gene expression. We have 25,000 genes in our body and it's how they express themselves determines how we process different elements that come into our encounter with oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is the bottom line cause of aging. Now facts on the process of aging. When we are born, we have different enzymes already in action in our cells, every cell of our body, all 100 trillion. And as we go through the childhood years and then the teenage years, these enzymes start to decrease in the amount of production that these cells produce. So we need help after 20 years if we're going to remain at that level of aging, which we all want to do. The process of aging begins at 25 years. The transition phase of aging begins around 35 plus years. The clinical phase of aging begins at 45 plus years. At this point, you should consider supplementation. In fact, the AMA in 2002 published their food pyramid for the first time in history included supplementation. They said, if you want a healthy diet, we have to have supplementation. And why is that? Because the deterioration in our farm land, the World Health Organization has said that American farmland has decreased 85% in nutrients unless nutrients are replaced in the soil before planting. And if it isn't in the soil, it won't be in the produce from that land. The best anti-aging supplemental strategy focuses on the whole body. And what I want to present to you tonight is something that will change every cell of your body in a good way to help you prevent the rapid onset of aging that we're now seeing. 
The main focus of this whole endeavor is on antioxidants. But first, I want to show you we live a similar cycle on wheels. Which wheels do you drive? The wheels of life we see up in the left hand top, mother pushing you in a baby buggy. Then we go to the tricycle, and then to the bicycle. And then, after the bicycle, in high school, teenage, we go to the sports car. And then we get married, and we have a van, and you can see it's got pets and children in the van. And then we go through the midlife crisis, and we end up with another sports car, or a nice fancy car, maybe even a luxury car. And then the next step is a travel van. Well, we travel here in Yon and the retired years, and then we go to the scooter because the joints don't work, the body is progressively aging, and then we end up back in wheels, but now it's a wheelchair, and similar to where we started with mother pushing a baby buggy, we have a nurse pushing our wheelchair. This is the cycle of the wheels. What's so bad about aging? Well, I always told my patients, aging isn't bad when you consider the alternative to it. As we age, our bodies suffer many disabilities because we're more susceptible to disabilities because of oxidative stress and damage we have on our bodies. In trying to cope with life today, we have many obstacles we encounter, all of which involve around stress. These are all collectively called oxidative stress, which is caused by, number one, psychological stress, you know, burning the candle at both ends. I know people doing two and three jobs now to keep up with the bills. Number two, physical stress. We have more people that can't retire now because of lack of funds at retirement age. We see them working as greeters in different stores. We see them work in different jobs, security guards, and etc. And this leads to physical stress. Three, dietary stress. I recently talked to an executive in a produce company in the San Joaquin Valley, Fresno, California, and she wanted to talk to me about nutrition. And I said, I want to talk to you about one thing. How do you harvest your tomatoes? She said, how do you think I harvest my tomatoes? I said, I think you pick the tomatoes green and then ship them to Kansas City, where I live, and they're gassed with ethylene gas and they turn red. She said, no, we quit doing that years ago. We do now what's called gas them and bag them. We pick them 10 to 12 days before they change color. They're gourd green and hard as rocks. We put them in big plastic bags, fill it with ethylene gas, and seal them. In four hours, they're bright red. We ship them to Kansas City. We have practically no shipping loss because you couldn't dent these tomatoes with a hammer. And that leads to dietary stress because you see, in the last 72 hours on the vine, while well, a tomato's ripened is when all the nutrients come into them, just before they're picked. And when you go in the grocery store and you see a lineup of tomatoes, bright red, but they're all the same, you know those are all green tomatoes because vine-ripened tomatoes lobulate and have cracks in them. Now, don't let anybody fool you with a little piece of vine attached to them because you can attach that vine when they're gourd green. And the fourth element of stress is environmental. We can't do much about that because the trade winds mix any mishap we have in the atmosphere, whether it's nuclear or just plain old toxic, it will eventually cover the surface of the earth through the tide winds. So that's what we're susceptible to, those four types of stress, all together called oxidative stress. The effects of oxidative stress in our bodies is due to the effects of free radicals damaging our cells. Free radicals are a byproduct of our body's digestion of nutrients along with oxygen and water. We have to mix oxygen, water, and the nutrients we eat for digestion. And this is very similar to carbon monoxide from the exhausts of our automobiles. That's also a byproduct, just like free radicals are, of our digestive product. The free radicals that we run into lack an electron. 
and they will damage cells in the process of stealing an electron. And when an electron is stolen from a healthy cell, that cell has a greater chance of mutation and turning into something like a malignancy. Antioxidant. Definition. An agent that inhibits or neutralizes free radicals by the donation of an electron, thereby preventing damage to our cells. You see, what this is, a true antioxidant is like a kamikaze agent. It donates an electron to the free radicals to neutralize them. That neutralizes an OH into water. The OH is the free radical. This is prevalent going on in every cell of your body, every day of your life. 73% of the population will die prematurely due to a deficiency of antioxidant ability or antioxidant activity in their body. This impacts 200 diseases and involves the top 10 leading cause of death. How Genetics Impacts Aging Our genetic inheritance plays an important role in defining our risk to most age-related problems. Some of us had a higher risk for one illness than others, but we all have a risk in our genetic makeup for certain problems in our life. Now, healthy aging is even more controlled by how we communicate with our genes through our diet and lifestyle. Diet and our lifestyle is very important. We have to eat a healthy diet. We can't eat junk and feel we're going to stay healthy. We are what we eat is an old adage that is true. The importance of food. Protandum is made from plant extracts, five plants that these extracts come from. Our body recognizes plant extracts as nutrition. Conclusion, protandum is nutrition for our body. It is non-toxic, it is harmless, it is safe, it has no drug interactions, it has no contraindications with anything else you're taking like other supplements or drugs. Now genes versus lifestyle. This is I'll make a little clearer than I did in that previous slide. 30% of your health problems are caused by your genes. 70% of your health problems are caused by your lifestyle. And we proved that many, many times in the years past that certain things will cause your health to deteriorate quicker. Certain things that we do. And you're mostly aware of all those. Review. Nutrients influence gene expression. That's what epigenetics is. In one generation, you can change your health and that of your children to come by being aware that nutrition is one of the most important parts of your life. Unhealthy genes are downregulated or suppressed with good or bad nutrition. Wellness-promoting genes are upregulated, and so we're healthy as long as we have proper dietary cognizant of what we're eating and eat healthy foods, fruits and vegetables. We need more of them in general in this society. They recognized that in general people do not have the plant molecules needed by our cells to function properly, those that were doing research on the gene expression. Protandum, that's the product I'm talking and representing. It provides protection against oxidative stress. It's the most powerful antioxidant ever compiled. It's the most powerful and inflammatory ever compiled. And it's non-toxic and does not harm the lining of your stomach as some anti-inflammatories do. This is totally non-toxic. It's the greatest antifibrotic, the greatest anti-carcinogenic, and other stressful conditions that befall the human body in this society. The results? By regulating gene expression, Protandum instructs our cells to combat these conditions using information encoded in the DNA which is contained in each and every cell. Remember we have 25,000 genes involved in our body. Now here's one researcher talking to another researcher and she says the focus group was vehemently opposed to genetically altered corn and wheat but they loved the chocolate flavored lettuce. We've been changing a lot of things by genetically modifying food and other aspects of research in genetics. 
Now, free radicals causing aging and disease. Many diseases are associated with cellular deterioration due to rogue molecules called free radicals. But look over here on the right side of the screen. You see a piece of metal that evidently had been left outside. And what had happened? Oxidative stress set in, as it always will. And we call it rusting when we're dealing with metal. Oxidative stress when we're dealing with humans we call aging. Very similar, but it's the same process that develops. High levels of oxidative stress are associated with more than 200 human diseases, such as these that I'm showing you right here. And these are cancer, heart disease, muscular dystrophies, diabetes, liver disease, autism, periodontal disease, and Alzheimer's. And these are what happens when we have excessive oxidative stress in our life. Now, how do we fight aging? How do we fight this with antioxidants? There's only two types of antioxidants available to neutralize these destructive free radicals. One, we have direct antioxidants. This is fruit juices, fruits, vitamins, wine, etc. Pills like vitamin C, vitamin E, they are all direct antioxidants and they work on the serum in your body. As it flows through your body, it carries these principles to all your cells. Bear in mind these work on the outside of the cell. The other choice is an indirect antioxidant which works entirely on the inside of the cell. And these work by means of enzymes that we were born with. Now, I want to stay right at this point. Anything produced by your cells, your body will utilize many, many times more than it will something from the outside into your body. And these three enzyme systems of SOD, which stands for superoxide desmutase, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase, are inside the cell and stay inside the cell and produce these enzymes that battle oxidative stress more effectively. To get what you need in antioxidants, you really need each day, with the oxidative stress we're subjected to, you would have to consume the antioxidants found in 87 glasses of red wine, or 375 oranges, or 11 pounds of blueberries, or 120 vitamin C tablets, 500 milligrams each. We'd have to do this each and every day to neutralize the amount of free radicals your body produces every single day. Now, I just want to share with you, one's a bad choice. 87 glasses of red wine daily. You would have other problems to worry about other than oxidative stress. First, you wouldn't know what planet you were on if you drank that much wine every day. Oranges, I don't think you can set aside that much time to peel that many oranges. 11 pounds of blueberries, I think for a day or two that would be pretty good, but you've got to consume that much every day. I don't think that would last long. It wouldn't be too appetizing after about the third or fourth day. And then the 120 vitamin C tablets daily would make your body done to say acidotic, very acidotic, and that isn't also a good choice. What really works? Okay, we're going to compare direct antioxidants with indirect antioxidants. The direct antioxidants are juices, fruit, and vitamins. And they work on one-to-one -one basis. One milligram of the direct antioxidant will neutralize the equivalent one milligram of free radicals. That's a one-to-one. -one. However, with the indirect antioxidant, and by the way, there's only one available in the world, and that is protandum. One milligram of protandum will neutralize a million free radicals per second, every second, for 13 days. One milligram will neutralize a million free radicals per second, every second, for 13 days. Okay? Now the question is, how much free radicals are we faced with? How many free radicals does your body produce every day regardless of what you do? Here's the number. 300 sextillion. That's 300 with 21 zeros. That's what your body produces 
free radicals every single day. And for that, this is just the way that we see this every day. We have no idea, but it still develops. We can't feel that development of those free radicals, but the results of the free radicals we do feel, and it's called aging, and that leads to more chronic diseases. Okay, let's take another look. Direct antioxidants, one to one. You see, with one to one ratio, you couldn't even scratch the surface of 300 sextillion. But indirect antioxidant, and we only have one, is a one to one million per second every second for 13 days. So this one doesn't work. The only hope we have is one that will do it on a million to one basis. And that, we only have one product, and that is called Protandum. Now, Protandum is the only supplement clinically proven to reduce oxidative stress by an average of 40% slowing down the cell aging process to the level of a 20 year old. Look at this uh, blue graph. Before pretendum you see that arrow that goes from left to right upward and look down at the bottom horizontal line age 20, age 30, age 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We can actually by taking T-bar tests and what are T-bars? Thiobarbiturate acid reactive substances that's a byproduct of lipid metabolism, but it stays in your cells, and we can analyze that and tell very close to your age by the T-bars you have. Now, is there anything we can do with that? Yes, there is. The formulator of Protandum, Dr. Joseph McCord, professor of medicine, University of Colorado School of Medicine. In 1968, a highlight of Duke University medical history, he and his mentor, he was doing research to obtain his Ph.D. in biochemistry. Dr. McCord discovered the enzyme which protects all living things against the toxicity of oxygen. It's called superoxide desmutase. He launched the study of antioxidants in 1969. Co-discoverer of free radical biology. Nominated four times for the Nobel Prize in Medicine received the Alec Crescent Medal in 1997 for discovering the biology of free radicals and their reactions in living organisms. And as I said, Dr. McCord still teaches and still does research in the University of Colorado School of Medicine. He immediately, after this was compiled and perfected to his satisfaction, obtained four patents, U.S. government patents, you might ask, how can you patent a natural plant? Well, that isn't what he worked on. It was a composition of five herbs in such a ratio that they would work synergistically together. It took him 42 years. And those herbs that he collected were milk thistle, bacopa, green tea, turmeric, and ashwagandha all of which have been used for many years in China and India. And after doing research and narrowing down all these other different herbs he had at hand, he came to these five, which he found would synergize the greatest antioxidant development in your body, turning each cell, all 100 trillion cells, into a manufacturing plant for antioxidants. And that's what we have here. What is the Alec Crescent Metal? awarded to Dr. Joe McCord, 1997. The past notable recipients, to give you an idea of what it is, and by the way, it's never been given since 1997, since they gave it to Dr. Joe McCord. Some of the past recipients are Marie and Pierre Curie for radium, Orville and Wilbur Wright for the airplane, manned flight, Alexander Graham Bell for the telephone, and Henry Ford for the discovery of the assembly line. Summary of the ninth study on protandum. We have 10 clinical studies that have already been completed on protandum. These are peer-reviewed clinical studies done by medical universities, medical schools in this country and in Europe. And the ninth study was done at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. It involved three major diseases. Heart disease and the 19 genes identified as its cause cancer of the colon, the 28 genes identified as the cancer of its cause, 
in Alzheimer's disease than the 66 genes identified. These affected genes are expressed in a negative manner causing the disease. Remember I told you the gene expression is what's so important. In each of these diseases, Protandum normalizes this gene expression, allowing the body to overcome the effects of the disease and correcting the adverse effects. Now, this is already published. You can read it. You can go on the bigbluecalendar.com or I have it on my website, which is www.docdocmarvin.com. Now, this next slide will sum up to you and make sense, maybe, of gene expression. The monarch caterpillars and butterflies are genetically identical and have their genes on or off depending on which state they're in. The concept of the epigenetics or genomics is gene expression. The caterpillar has a different gene expression than the butterfly, but they're identical genes. One group is functioning for the caterpillar. They transition into another group functioning for the butterfly. Genetically identical but differing gene expression. Here's another evidence of this. Here's two mice. These two genetically identical mice were born of genetically identical mothers who were fed differently in pregnancy and they will have very different lives. These identical mothers are fed different type of food. The one on your left, the yellow one, was given some nutrients that were detrimental to gene expression. And that produced this overweight, diabetic mouse on the left who will have half the lifespan that is normal compared to his genetic equivalent brother on the right who was fed a correct diet. That just gives you the expression of how much the genetic makeup revolves around food. And this is what happened in these two cases. I hope these two slides will make it clear what I'm talking about gene expression because medicine is going in this direction. Now, Reactive gene expression levels. Here's a piece of your genome and mine, not particularly how ours looks, but a section of a normal human genome. Remember, there's 25,000 of these. And this is just a small example. But this is a person, like a piano that hasn't been used for maybe 40 or 50 years. It's aged. It's up in the attic. You bring it down. Do you think that piano is going to be in tune? Absolutely not. Not going to be in tune at all. And neither is your genome when you get 40, 50, 60 years old. And this is a piece of the genome, and look at the difference. Some of these are barely discernible because they're so low, and some of them are so expressed high that, you know, they stand out immediately. So, we say put this hypothetical person on protandum, and after a month, it has tuned your genome. And here's the way it looks. They're all in their not right, normal degree of expression. Much different than that. They're in their right degree of expression. So, this is healthy expression. The other is unhealthy expression. Now, we have ten clinical studies. The 10th clinical study was funded by the NIH. That's the National Institute of Health. We've had one other article funded by the NIH. This is the highest level of medical knowledge in the United States, the National Institute of Health. The NIH has paid for publishing two previous studies. The one on heart disease done by Ohio State University Medical School, the one done on bypass uh, grafts in coronary artery surgery, which shows that this is the only compound protandum that will maintain patency of your grafts. If you've had a bypass graft, I would recommend you go on this nutrient. Therefore, we do not have the details of the study of the 10th clinical study because it hasn't been published in the clinical journal yet that intends to publish it. Each one of these studies done by a medical school has to be published before we can put it out on our site. So that makes a big difference. We do not know exactly all the details of the tenth study. It involves the pulmonary system. We're eagerly awaiting the results. But we've had two articles on protandum 
concerning heart disease published in the American Heart Association Journal and one issue of Circulation Magazine, also from the American Heart Association, has published an article. Now, T-bars, standard for age and starting pro tandem. Here we have the T-bars, which I discussed, thiobarbiturate acid-reactive substances due to lipid metabolism. And we can see the red bars here go up 20, 40, 60, 80. So what if we would take this person in any of these four ages and give them pro tandem? Well, we would find that they would look like that because 30 separate labs have proven protandum will drop the T-bars or your rate of aging to that of a 20-year-old 100% of the time and 100% of the people. And here's what you get, 20, 40, 60, 80, you can't tell the difference because it drops the oxidative stress. Now, this is the bottom line. A 20-year-old and an 80-year-old will then have the same blood test, identical. Now that's Pert near mind-boggling, I know, but that's been proven by 30 separate labs. T-bars are lowered 40 to 45 percent in 30 days. They are a better predictor of heart disease than cholesterol. That's something. They are a better predictor of heart disease than cholesterol. As you can see, this product is a must, I would feel, if you have a family history or family member with a history of heart disease. Protandum is the only supplement clinically proven to reduce oxidative stress by an average of 40%, slowing down the cell aging process to the level of a 20-year-old. While conventional or direct antioxidants can neutralize only one free radical molecule, protandum triggers the creation of enzymes in every one of your cells that can each eliminate over a million free radical molecules per second every second for 13 days. True science. We have one product, folks, in two forms. One is a tablet and one is a cream. This cream is fabulous. Louisiana State University just published a clinical peer-reviewed study showing this will remove skin cancers. It utilizes proven benefits of protandum of all the other proven benefits. Fights free radical damage to the skin noticeably diminishes fine lines and deep wrinkles. It stimulates skin renewal, collagen and elastin production. Lightens age spots, balances pigmentation, increases skin smoothness and moisturization and it's been dermatologically tested. Here's one test. It's an actual trial by a distributor. This dear lady put the most popular skin cream on the right side of her face. And on the left side of her face, she put True Science, the Protandum Cream. And for three weeks, she put that on each side of her face. She put the most popular one on her right side and the Protandum's Cream or True Science on the left side. And you can see the difference. She couldn't wait to get the three weeks over. She used it twice a day for three weeks so that she could put it on the right side of her face because she could see so much difference. This would just give you a close-up comparison. Additionally, 29 scientific studies of protandum are underway at leading research institutions involving the most serious health conditions. These are the university medical schools, and here's a few of them, as you can see on this chart. Ohio State, I mentioned before, did the one on heart disease and bypass graft and heart failure. Harvard University on the right side first study had to do with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy in little boys. Very excellent peer-reviewed study. Louisiana State University, just below it, did the one on skin cancer. And University of Colorado, down below, did the one on heart disease, colon cancer, and Alzheimer's. These are all available on the bigbluecalendar.com. There's more of them. I didn't have room to put all 29 medical schools. But folks, this has the most medical validation of a supplement or a drug ever done. Why? Because there's so many medical schools doing research on it with their own money. This company does not finance these scientific studies. All they do is donate the product and the schools spend the money on the research. That's unheard of. Now, just for a little final 
note here, wellness. That's the next trillion dollar industry. That's the biggest industry in the United States. And we have the greatest anti-aging, antioxidant product ever found. You see, the baby boomers are 76 million people born between 1946 and 1964. I've been told there's 10,000 of these retiring every day. They're the strongest economic demographic. They control more than two-thirds of every dollar spent in the United States. They're all concerned about health issues and anti-aging. They want to look good, feel young, and healthy. And some are anxious about retirement and financial future. Now, this is a chart called the Wind of Opportunity. Peter Drucker, lecturing at Harvard Business School, has said there's a sign curve for business. And as the business starts and reaches critical mass, which is when 15 to 18 percent of the people know about this product, you start the momentum in sales. This is a tsunami of sales of any new product. As you can see, the star on this chart is where this company is presently. It's new and it is growing at 241 percent. It's a very unique position to be in in this new company. There isn't a popular corporation that you wouldn't be probably well served if you were in at this early level. 40 years of science, nine-year-old company, publicly traded, offering personal franchises or ownership. You can start your own business that you're totally in control of, giving you financial freedom and personal freedom. You can stay at home and do it. Proven product, proven 29 medical schools are all in the process of proving everything we say. Now available only from distributors. There's three factors if you are involved in network marketing. I give lectures on network marketing. One, being at the right place at the right time it's pretty much luck. I have a slide showing 12 young people and most of them have a dress and uh, hairstyling that we wouldn't all be too happy with if they were our children. They're all young. I ask people when I lecture, would you invest in this group of 12? And no one raises their hand. Then I click up my button to change slides and right below it it says Microsoft 1972. Everybody in the room raises their hand. And that's the key, recognizing the opportunity. I wished I could have recognized the opportunity in 1972. But I didn't, as many others didn't. But a few did. Making a decision is paramount after you once recognize the opportunity. I'm telling you, this is an opportunity. Now, as you try to share this with your friends, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to say, give me some time, I want to know more, and you give them more information. Now, there's a saying called the fortunes in the follow-up. 48% will follow up one time. 24% will follow up two times. 14% will follow up three times. 12% will follow up four times. 6% will follow up five times. 60% of sales are made on that fifth follow-up. But here's the catch. Only 6% of the people will follow up five times. So remember that. The fortunes in the follow-up. What's your priority? Practicing medicine for over 55 years, there's one thing I'm sure of, and that's his first statement. People want to know how much you care before they care how much you know. People want to see how much you care. You speak to people as a physician from your heart. You're concerned about them. And it's not fake. You shouldn't be in medicine if you don't have a concern for people, in my opinion. But people want to know how much you care before they care how much you know. People are persuaded much more by the depth of your conviction than by the height of your logic. You can dazzle them with all kinds of facts. doesn't go anywhere. It's how much you care. I want to thank you each for listening to my webinar tonight. And I ask you to get with the person that directed you to this webinar presentation and make a decision to change the way your body fights free radicals and oxidative stress for your benefit. You can't imagine the change 
that you will feel. I myself have three times the energy I did, and I sleep like a baby, literally. I sleep REM sleep. I can't wait for it's time to go to bed so I can enjoy the sleep that I do now. Because I'm not kept awake by fighting free radicals in a body that doesn't have full defenses. If you're looking for a solution to your financial stress, we will help you with that too. Now, the end or the beginning? Shall I say that's the question? The beginning of your new life. You will feel better, feel like a different person. Because every cell in your body is now defending yourself from oxidative stress. Now, if you would like to have more information, and many people do, they want more information. You can go to my website. It's an information-only website. www.docmarvin.com Or you may call me. My cell phone is 816-392-6498 or 913-681-9797 to learn how to obtain this product. I want to thank you for watching this. I want to ask you to meditate upon it. It will change your life. Good night, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much.